Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another breaking news update. Today, we bring you a highly significant event unfolding in the waters surrounding Taiwan. In a bold move to safeguard regional stability, the U.S. aircraft carrier U.S. George Washington has taken a decisive stance, blocking China's warships near Taiwan. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this escalating situation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on the latest news and geopolitical developments. The United States has long been an ally of Taiwan, offering support and defense cooperation. China, on the other hand, claims Taiwan is part of its territory and has been increasing its military presence in the region. The U.S. Navy's deployment of the U.S. George Washington represents a clear message of deterrence against any potential aggression from China. Over the past few weeks, China has been conducting naval exercises near Taiwan, showcasing its military capabilities and sending a strong signal to both Taiwan and the international community. These actions have raised concerns among Taiwan's allies and prompted the United States to reinforce its commitment to the region's security. The U.S. George Washington, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, is a formidable force in the region. With its advanced capabilities, including a vast array of aircraft and cutting-edge defense systems, it serves as a symbol of American military strength and resolve. By positioning the aircraft carrier strategically, the United States aims to deter any aggressive actions by China and maintain stability in the area. The decision to block China's warships near Taiwan carries significant implications. It not only reaffirms the United States' commitment to its allies, but also serves as a stern warning to China that any attempt to change the status quo through force will be met with a resolute response. The presence of the U.S. George Washington demonstrates the U.S. Navy's readiness and resolve to defend its interests and support regional stability. As U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's Taiwan visit sparked fury in China, the People's Liberation Army Navy, PLAN, intensified its military exercise campaign near the Taiwan Strait, which separates China and Taiwan. As a countermeasure, the U.S. has deployed its warships east of Taiwan. So Taiwan, an island roughly 100 miles from the coast of southeast China, is effectively encircled by U.S. and Chinese warships. China's aircraft carrier Shandong left the naval base of Sanya on the day of Pelosi's visit, and Liaoning 001 also raised anchor from the home base in Qingdao. The two carriers are advancing both north and south of Taiwan. The U.S. Ronald Reagan is deployed in the Philippine Sea, east of Taiwan, and the Philippines, and south of Japan. It conducted an archipelagic sea lane passage through the San Bernardino Strait. U.S. Ronald Reagan, which is 890 kilometers away from Taiwan, has its home port in Yokosuka, Japan. It operates with a guided missile cruiser, U.S. Antietam, and a destroyer, U.S. Higgins. The CVN-76 is also a Nimitz-class, nuclear-powered supercarrier and can house 3,532 troops and equipment. In terms of military capabilities, Taiwan is no match to China. But with help from the U.S., it hopes of taking on the mighty Chinese military in case of a flare-up. China's military budget is USD 252 billion, compared to the meager USD 13 billion of Taiwan. China has roughly 20 lakh active military personnel compared to 163,000 in Taiwan. When it comes to air power, China has over 4,000 aircraft, while Taiwan only a little over 800. China's combat fleet is far superior to what Taiwan has. China also outnumbers Taiwan when it comes to tanks, armored vehicles, or artillery. Coming to maritime power once again, the Chinese Navy has far more firepower. China has over 700 ships, while Taiwan has under 100. The presence of the strike group in the South China Sea appears geared to addressing the core of U.S. engagement in the region. The overlapping claims of China, Taiwan, the Philippines, Vietnam, Brunei and Malaysia in the oil 
and gas-rich sea is emerging as a regional flashpoint. The United States has said it is neutral in the dispute, centered on China's controversial historic claim of waters deep in the maritime heart of Southeast Asia, but is determined to preserve peace and ensure that sea lanes vital for the world economy are not hindered, even as it grapples with budget cuts. Over the next few years, the United States will significantly expand joint exercises, live firing tests, and anti-submarine drills in the region, in part to cope with advancing Chinese weaponry, according to the Stars and Stripes. And on board the George Washington, officers and crew say combat readiness is being maintained through costly flight schedules that see 100 sorties routinely flown from the ship on most days. Chinese officials and commentators often bristle at the U.S. efforts. Despite years of double-digit increases in defense spending by China, it lags far behind the United States in terms of firepower. Chinese pilots are still testing landings aboard the Liaoning, a Soviet-era ship that has been retooled as China's first aircraft carrier. China's first domestically built carriers are not expected to be completed before 2020, according to military analysts even as its shipyards produce new nuclear and conventional submarines, destroyers, and other heavily armed surface ships faster than any other nation. Its expanding fleet has started routinely exercising far beyond China's coastal waters, moving beyond the so-called first island chain that has long effectively contained China's navy and into open ocean east of Japan. Both Asian and Western analysts, however, believe China's navy would struggle for some years to sustain protracted battles far from its shores. Assessing the situation from the bridge, high above the flight deck, Montgomery insists his navy is committed, both in terms of operational capabilities and engagement. As tensions continue to escalate, the international community closely watches this standoff between the United States and China. The implications of this event reach far beyond the waters surrounding Taiwan, affecting global geopolitics and alliances. It remains to be seen how China will respond to the U.S. aircraft carrier blockade and whether it will de-escalate the situation or further heighten tensions. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the latest development in the Taiwan Strait. The U.S. aircraft carrier, U.S. George Washington's bold move to block China's warships near Taiwan underscores the delicate balance of power in the region. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide you with timely updates. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more breaking news and analysis. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.